Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome to our very first Wolf Quest 3 series. This is Wolf Quest the Anniversary Edition, a major overhaul in the game not only in the looks department, but the way that it's played too. It was just released a couple of days ago as an early access title, so bear in mind that nothing is really complete yet. We'll probably run into a few bugs and glitches along the way today, and at the moment only the Amethyst Mountain is available for us to play. The Slough Creek and other episodes are all coming in the future, but for now we get to start our journey here and get our very first taste of this new update together. Can we just stop and appreciate for a moment too? Like I guess the time of day has turned to night on the loading screen here? We have the stars in the sky, the beautiful moonlight shining on this wolf, and how cute does he look? This is going to be like a completely new game. I actually loaded it up for a couple of minutes the other day just to make sure that everything was set for recording, and it looks amazing, you guys. You are in for a treat. So let's go ahead and start creating our very first wolf, I guess. Yeah, the wolf that we're going to take this journey with. I'm sure some of you already know, but we were actually planning on playing as Daisy. Daisy was one of our second generation wolves. She was our firstborn between Bumble and Mousy, who were the founders of the Hive, which is basically the pack or the family tree that we're going to be following. Daisy was definitely the queen bee of the Hive, too. She was the one who would always get the food first, padding right up to her parents as soon as they came home, and she was definitely the boss of her siblings. But unfortunately, disaster struck when she was very, very young. She was actually stolen away from her parents by an enemy wolf pack. Bumble and Mousy chased that wolf as far as they could, but they were never able to catch up with them and get Daisy back. They always assumed that Daisy probably passed away, was killed by the enemy wolf. But we began to wonder, what if that wolf stole her away to raise her as their own? As the strongest and the healthiest in Bumble's litter, she must have seemed like a prime target. So this is going to be Daisy's story, the little lost flower as she discovers more about her true heritage. So one common trait amongst pretty much everybody in the hive is that honey-colored fur. It looks like most of the coats are the same as from the previous game, at least as far as I can tell, just much, much more detailed on this new model. So we'll definitely want to make sure that we knock this bar over toward the brown colors. That way it'll give them that amber glow that we're looking for. Mousy was a little bit more of a traditional wolf though, with like a gray and white sort of coat. So I suppose we could always show her mother's influence in her too. Ooh, that is a really pretty color though. Oh my gosh, that is perfect for the hive. Those little honey paws. She has kind of a darker back. That one is definitely a possibility. You know, this one's not actually that bad either. It still has those honey tones to it, but it's a little bit darker, so it makes her look a little more like Mousy. And then this one is even more like Mousy, with Bumble's colors only right on top of her head. Yeah, you know, I think this is the one that we're going to go for. I like how she has more of a mix between both of her parents this way. Not like Honey, who looked pretty much exactly like her father did. So next, it looks like we can choose the eye color. Oh, perfect, and we have a lot of colors to choose from, too. So this will change the shade of the eye. And it looks like this could make it darker or lighter. All right, so what color eyes do you think Daisy would have? Maybe bright yellow like this, kind of like the center of the flower that she's named for. I believe that Bumble had some amber colored eyes, so that would actually fit her quite nicely. Yeah, we'll go with that for her eye color. Now it looks like we can choose her howl as well. There's two different types of howls. The primary howl, that one sounds very, very familiar. Oh, a mournful howl. Oh, these are quite interesting. Alright, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I'm going to go with number 11 for her primary howl. And it sounds like something's strong, and I think that's what we need for her since she's such a little queen bee. For her secondary howl, we're just going to go with the first one right here. I think that gives her a nice, strong sound to her, too. She is very, very independent, so we're going to have to keep that in mind for her playthrough. Ooh, we can change the ears. We can make them torn, bent, flat, and notched. Ooh, do you think she would actually have a little torn ear? I'm wondering, can we actually change multiple categories on the same ear? Let's see. Yeah, so we could make it bent and torn too. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. You know, I think I'm just going to give her the torn ear though. Kind of like a little scar that she may have gotten when she was stolen away by the enemy wolf. 
I mean, it was quite the scuffle after all. You would expect that she would have a few injuries from that alone. Now we have different accessories, it looks like. We could add a radio collar to her. We can change her body mass. Okay, so we could actually make her a little bit more muscular. Or a little bit fatter, I guess. Looks like you've been eating very, very well, honey. We'll give her a nice sturdy body, I guess. Given the way that she was raised, we know that she was eating well. Oh my gosh, can we give her extra fluff? Oh no, that takes away from the fluff. Okay, so she's already as fluffy as can be. Well, I don't want to take away from any of your extra fluff. I do like a fluffy wolf. There's a back curve that we can add. Oh, okay. I think we'll probably leave it about where it was, though. We can have a mange tail. Alright. Oh, poor Daisy. I know things are probably tough in that new pack of yours, but I don't think we have to worry about mange. And then a fluffy tail. Ooh, so we can make it even bigger and fluffier than it is already. Well, I think for now, we'll put it at just about there. So aside from that, we have a stat system, which is apparently coming soon, so not ready yet. Ooh, and a personality. We can write her bio here, and the personality. So she can actually have a real personality in the game. Other wolves you meet, from potential mates to hostile wolves defending their territory, have personalities that affect their behavior. Some will be bold, ready to dash into a hunt or fight without hesitation. Others will be cautious, holding back until they feel more confident about their odds. Some will be energetic, moving about constantly, while others will be rather lazy. And some will be quite social, quick to initiate or respond to social actions and emotes. Others will be loners, keeping to themselves. Your wolf, of course, will behave as you choose. But since your pup's personalities are partially determined by the personality of their parents, you can configure your wolf's personality for that purpose. Okay, so this is more for the family tree purposes. So when we have pups, so they're going to be based on both Daisy and whoever she chooses as her mate. Still though, that's a very, very cool. So how would we rank Daisy? Well, she is definitely not cautious. She is bold as can be. Like, we would have to put this way, way up here. I don't think she's really a loner either. Like, maybe right now, since she's striking off on her own, she wants to learn more about her true parents, so she must have discovered something about the pack that she was raised in. So while she might want to keep her distance from them, I don't think she's going to want to stay alone very long. She needs somebody to keep her in check after all. And now, lazy or energetic? I mean, I can't really see her, like, bouncing off the walls or anything, but I definitely don't see her as lazy either. She's not going to let anybody else do all the work for her, so I guess we'd have to go a little bit more toward the energetic side. Yeah, maybe you're right about there. Not all the way high, like bold, but definitely leaning in that direction. Alright, so this is Daisy. Our very first wolf in Wolf Quest 3. She looks like she's ready for adventure, so let's go ahead and save her. And then I think we have to go back to the menu to start a new game here. Oh my gosh, now she's taking the place of our little default wolf. You are looking gorgeous, Daisy. So we'll be starting on the Amethyst Mountain, of course, single player, challenging difficulty. I'm definitely not a wolf quest expert, but I think we can handle that much. And now mate death. Either cannot die or permadeath. Uh, yeah, let's go with permadeath. That sounds like it would be very interesting story-wise, right? All right, let's start the game with our wolf. Let's go, Daisy. I hope you're ready because I am so, so excited. Here we go. Here we go, Daisy. Learn to hunt. As a new arrival here in the Lamar Valley of Yellowstone, you must learn how to hunt the prey animals here. Mostly elk, but also mule deer and moose. You'll have to become a good hunter before you can persuade another wolf to become your mate. All right, so the beginning of our journey. Complete this quest by killing two elk. You'll find them up here in the mountain slopes and the ridges above the Lamar Valley. Later in the fall, they'll move down into the valley. So we can review goals and quest menu and press the tab key to open. Alright, Daisy. And now our wolf badge. The wolf badge provides key information about your wolf. The health is in the red. Lose health during attacks when biting and fighting other animals. Energy is in the green. Expend energy with action. You'll have less energy when digesting a big meal. Oh, interesting. So a little bit of strategy involved now, too. Health and energy recharge automatically and faster when resting or sleeping. Okay. So the orange is our hunger. 
Wolves can go days without eating, but eventually you must find food. And purple is actually for our sleep? Wolves sleep for much of the day, so when this meter is empty, it's time for a nap. Oh my gosh, we'll actually have to find places to sleep? So we're going to have to find, like, a safe haven for her. Somewhere not too close to any danger, and somewhere close to food, hopefully. The compass shows cardinal directions, as well as custom map markers, and sometimes a destination for your current mission. This little symbol right here will show which territory we're in. Black means nobody has claimed this spot. Other colors are key to pack territories shown on the world's map. Alright, I think we've got it. Are you ready, Daisy? Oh my gosh, look at this world. Look at this wide open world that you have in front of you, Daisy. So we can move around just like in the previous game. We can use the mouse to steer our camera direction. We can trot around. Oh my gosh, Daisy, you are so cute. I love that little bounce that she has to her step. She looks like she is ready for adventure. I think it said that the shift key helps us run to... There we go. Run straight into the wilderness, Daisy. I believe we can zoom in on her too. Yeah, look at you. Oh my gosh. Those big, beautiful yellow eyes. We can zoom out to get a better look around the territory as well. And there we go. We can go into scent view. Look for scents floating in the air or on the ground. Airborne scents float with the wind, so track them upwind to find prey animals or dangerous competitors. Alright, so let's take a look at scent view. Oh, look at that. It is actually like floating on the breeze. Follow the scents upwind in the direction they float toward you to find the animals emitting the smell. Alright, so that means we want to go this way to see what this yellow scent is. Male dispersal wolves. Oh, Daisy. Look at you getting lucky already. Already going toward your very first dispersal wolf? Well, wait a second. We have to figure things out a little bit more before we go try to find you a mate. I mean, she is probably very, very distraught at the moment anyways. She just learned that the family who raised her isn't actually her true family at all. It makes me wonder if she had a few siblings in that pack, and maybe they weren't too fond of her. Somebody they knew weren't her true siblings, but she never got the memo. So I wonder if they use that against her somehow, and that's why she decided to strike off on her own. Well, Daisy, maybe we should take a quick look at the map too? Just to see if there's any dangerous packs around here. You never know what may have sprung up in the meantime. So use the map to locate yourself in the game world, see the territories of stranger wolf packs, and place markers which will appear on your compass in the game. All right. So can we get some more information on land? I wonder if we have to explore it first. Oh, here's our pack info. Okay. Oh, look how hungry she is. 49%? Does that mean that she needs to very quickly find some food, maybe? Yeah, I see that now. Her bar is actually, like, half empty. So maybe we should follow these scents. If we go toward the Dispersal Wolf, I wonder if he could show us where the food is. I mean, at the very least, he might know this territory better than we do. That's probably what Daisy's banking on. I'd kind of like to see the world outside of this view for a little while, though. Yeah, I'd kind of like to see Daisy just pat around here. Gosh, this place is so, so gorgeous. We've barely gone a few steps away from where you've started, and I'm already in awe, Daisy. This place is completely unfamiliar to her, too. She was basically raised in the Slough Creek, and wherever that enemy pack took her off to. So everything around the Amethyst Mountain must be completely new. Oh, there's a new scent down here? Wait a second, is this the scent of food by any chance? It's a purple marker, so that means it's a mule deer. Well, Mr. Dispersal Wolf, it seems like we're going to have to wait to meet you then, because I think the food is a little bit more important right now. DC is getting super, super hungry, so we don't want her to starve or anything. Yeah, let's follow the mule deer. Are they down here inside this valley, maybe? Actually, I wonder if this Dispersal Wolf might be trying to hunt the mule deer too. They must be super, super close. Let's actually go out of our scent view for a moment, just to see if we can spot the mule deer down here. Are they hiding behind the trees? 
No, it looks like everything is pretty much bare over here right now. Though quite a few of the trees have been knocked down, haven't they? Almost looks like a stampede came through here or something. Can you still smell them, Daisy? Alright. It looks like they're still coming from this direction. Maybe over the hill itself? Oh, and is that a different scent in there? There's like a little white scent marker mixed in with a dispersal wolf now. Oh, blue ones too? Wait a second, maybe he's hunting something. A moose? A moose and a grizzly bear? Oh my gosh, wait a second. Does this guy need our help? Okay, let's see if we can find that wolf after all. Maybe he could use a little bit of help if he's attacking a grizzly bear. Oh my gosh. Is it that his health bar? He's a male wolf, he's two years old, and he's from the Cinnabar pack. His diversity is two stars, whatever that means, too. So targeting animals. The yellow arrow appears over nearby animals. Click the mouse button to lock the camera onto it for auto steering. Click it again to unlock the camera. Okay, but I don't think we're going to go trying to attack the wolf anytime soon. There he is. Hello? Are you okay? I definitely smelled some strange scents mixed in with yours. And it looks like we can see ground scents now. These are the scented footprints of one of your competitor's species. Wolf, grizzly bear, cougar, coyote, or fox. Some of these pose a threat to you, but they can also lead you to a carcass if you're willing to fight them for it. Well, unfortunately for you, Daisy, it doesn't seem like this wolf has caught any meals at all. In fact, it looks like the danger is actually off in that direction. So, certainly you weren't trying to track down a moose, were you? It is not the time for courtship. You need to demonstrate your hunting skills first. So this male has absolutely no interest in you. Look at him running away. Well, you know, if you want to lead us towards some food, I certainly wouldn't say no to that. Do you think he's going in the right direction? You know, buddy, you could always follow us if you want to. I know you're already part of a pack, but we could use some help taking down one of these meals. <laughs> Maybe Daisy is too much for him. Such a bold wolf marching into his territory like this. Demanding food and everything, who does she think she is? Yeah, I guess we're probably going to have to prove ourselves a little bit first. It looks like there's another scent on the breeze over here. Snowshoe hair. Well, it's not much, but I suppose it's better than nothing. If the hair is a little bit closer, maybe we'll go for that instead. Ooh, wait a second. Ooh, I actually see the prints on the ground now. Ooh. Is that the mule deer? Ooh, Daisy, I think we found your very first snack. It looks like the mule deer are actually taking refuge over here in the trees. Alright, so hopefully this one is ripe for the taking. Oh no! Oh, you scared it away already? Is there only one? Mule deer are nearby. Look around for them. Try to approach from downwind. Well, I think we already failed that one. Without a pack to help you, look for the smallest and weakest among them. Fawns are smaller and weaker than adults, but usually have a mother to protect them. To discover the health of the mule deer, bite it. Alright, so what are we chasing right now? It looks like a very, very small deer to me. Is this actually a fawn? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, a little bit laggy there. Sorry, guys. Alright, so attacking animals. The bite icon appears when you're close enough to attack the animal. Press space to attack and bite it. Press and hold the space bar to bite and hold on to do more damage. Alright, honey, so this is the moment of truth. See if you can grab a hold. There we go, but it looks like you're taking quite a bit of damage in the process. Oh my goodness! Oh, did she just give you a mighty kick? Alright, so this is the doe mule deer, it says. Ooh! And did we just lock onto something else instead? Or did she actually teleport across the forest? Wait a second. Daisy, where'd your mule go? Oh, that's the hare? Okay, well, there's the mule deer. Yet yeah, there we go. Now we're locked onto her, so that shouldn't happen again. Alright, so hold on to the mule deer for us as long as you possibly can. She is definitely hurting you as you do so, though. And it looks like the showdown is already starting. Your prey is not fleeing from you. Either it feels strong enough to defend itself, or it's too tired to keep running. You must attack it without taking too much damage from those sharp hooves. So we can use the A and D keys to circle it now, looking for an opportunity to attack it from the rear or side. Alright, here we go. Hey, wait a second. 
I thought we were having a showdown. What happened? And it looks like she's taking us straight into elk territory, too. Elk hunt. A herd of elk is nearby. Look around for it. Try to approach from downwind. All right, so it's basically the same. We need to look for smaller or weaker members of the herd, but you know what? We are not looking for any elk right now, are we? Oh no, I think I accidentally clicked off of her. There we go. All right. Try to grab her again. Now this is doing a number on her stamina too, so we have to be careful. Oh, I thought for a moment she was going to start the standoff again, but she's still not having it. Come on, we are so close to taking you down. You've got to stop sooner or later. Let's hold on one more time. There we go. So close. Oh my gosh. Oh, and she has taken us directly to the elk herd. Okay, Daisy, don't lose her, but be very, very careful. We're not here to take down any of you, okay? Just this mule deer. Oh, did we do it? There we go. All right, so no showdown for us, I guess. It's probably better that way, though, Daisy. That way you didn't take too much damage. The eating icon appears when you can eat from a carcass. Tap space to eat. Double tap space to pick up a chunk of meat, which you can then carry elsewhere. And double tap to put it down again. Oh, cool. So we could actually take some of this food to wherever we decide to set up our space. Like if we have a little home house somewhere. Oh my goodness. Um, you can back away now. This is my meal, okay? I'm just gonna take a little bit of food. You guys can do your thing. I'm not going after any of you right now. We have plenty of food here to eat by ourselves, so let's just go our separate ways. Gosh, the mule deer didn't stand down with us, but it looks like this elk is actually going to, like, trample us in a moment. Clearly, we need to back away. Well, our hunger bar is all the way filled now, though it didn't actually help our health bar any. I believe it said that it was going to reach in automatically, so maybe we just need to let our food digest or something? Hopefully that's the case, or maybe we even need to take a nap. It does look like she's getting pretty tired, too. Did all the elk run away? Oh, here we go. Other controls. So we can tap control to toggle walking. We can stalk by holding control, too. Okay. That would probably help us when we're sneaking up on animals. We can howl with the H key. We can use emotes with the E key. And we can rest with R. Tap repeatedly to lay down in different positions. That's right. So maybe that would help us recover? Let's just lay down next to our fresh kill. We should probably sniff around, too, actually. See if anybody else is nearby. Oh, a territorial marking? Wait a second. Are we in a wolf pack right now? Or rather, are we dangerously close to their borders? Let's just check the map. Does it say anything down here? Uh, so far, it doesn't really seem to have too much information. Oh, show pack territories. There we go. All right, so the Lamar Canyon is over here. I wonder if that's actually the wolf pack that we just saw. Oh, she is really on the cusp, too. Honey, you are playing with fire right now. I'm kind of curious, though. I kind of want to explore. There's spike elk over here. Snowshoe hares. Oh, they have so much prey in their territory. Is this perhaps the border? I wonder if that's what that's supposed to be. So we probably want to keep our wits about us, honey, huh? You're staying spry. Might not be the best thing for us to leave our food right here either, huh? I wonder if maybe we should grab a little piece of it. If we double tap, maybe we can tear off some meat. There we go. Now we can travel around with it. Oh my gosh, that is perfect. So this would actually be a really good way for us to raise our pups, too. We could take down some elk and then place some food right over by the den that we chose. <laughs> there's those hares. Oh, and there's the elk, actually. They didn't really go very far at all, did they? All right, so we probably want to find a good, safe place to rest. Somewhere for Daisy to settle down for the night so she can actually get some sleep. Oh, and since we have some food in our mouth right now... Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, were they practicing dance moves over here or something? What are you, the Elk Dance Academy? Well, all I really wanted was to see if we could find that dispersal wolf again. Show him the food that we caught, maybe? See, this is what you're missing out on. If only you decide to go along with Daisy, then you would have a nice big meal to eat, too. 
I want to say he was over here somewhere. Over by the clearing, I believe? I wonder if he moved on, though. There's always a chance that he decided to go back to his pack. All the scents seem to be out this way, though that might be straying a little bit too close to the enemy wolves for comfort. I guess we probably want to look for the yellow scent markers, because that seems to indicate another wolf. Yeah, pretty much everything is following the elk herd right now, though I guess that makes sense. They all want to make sure that they can find their food. Oh my goodness, little guys, calm down for a second. I mean, I love your dance routine, but you guys are going to tire yourselves out. You seem to be running directly toward the enemy wolves as well, so you might want to rethink your course. Alright, Daisy, let's see if we can find a nice, safe place to hold up for the night. I suppose we could always choose somewhere in the forest over here, or we could go back out toward the clearing again. I feel like she kind of enjoys being able to see all around her, kind of like the area where we started our journey. On top of that rock, she could see for miles, so she would know of any dangers coming. And of course, it would help her feel like a queen, too. The queen bee that she truly is. Let's sniff around here, just to make sure that nothing else is lurking nearby. Is that that spike deer again? Bull elk carcass. Oh, and is this the grizzly bear? No, that's the moose. Alright, bull elk carcass. A little bit of lag again. Steady now, Daisy. She must be a little bit nervous about this, I guess. I wonder if this means that something took down this bull elk over here. In fact, I wonder if it means it was one of the enemy wolf packs. Do you think maybe it's in their territory? I think I actually see some water down there. Oh, maybe this is a better spot for us to rest then. Right next to the water. Yeah, that would be a nice relaxing area. I wonder if there are any rocks around here that we can climb on top of. Oh, maybe even right up on top of that cliff right there. I completely missed that before. Wait a second, DZ. How about this? I bet you can see for miles up here. Even past all of these trees. Yeah, not bad. A good look at your brand new kingdom. You've been awake for quite a while. Press Z to sleep. <laughs> Alright, so the game seems to think that Daisy's a little bit too tired to go on now. I see how it is. Time for your queenly nap, Daisy. So let's go ahead and put your meat down right here. Maybe. There we go. She was a little bit reluctant to give it up, but we know it's going to be safe here. All of the dangerous scents were very far away. So let's go ahead and curl up for a nice quick nap, Daisy. A nice, calming sleep. Sleep away all the troubles of the day, my little queen, with the babble of the stream beside you. And when you wake up, you'll have a nice spot of breakfast ready for you. Daisy has already learned that life on her own isn't quite as easy as she figured it would be. And when she struck off on her own after figuring out the truth, she probably never figured that she couldn't handle herself. So, all in all, I think Daisy is doing pretty well considering. She's already taken down her first mule deer after all, so for now life is good. And now with the stars shining overhead. Oh my gosh, Daisy, what a gorgeous place. If no other wolf packs have claimed this land, I wonder if you could truly make a little home for yourself here. Just somewhere to rest your head at night while you continue to try to figure out where you're meant to be in the world. So you try to figure out where your true family is hiding. So I think that's where we'll end it for this episode, but let me know if you guys are excited to see more. I know I'm really excited to get to tell Daisy's story like this, and I am blown away so far by all the new things that have been added to this game. It sounds like we still have tons more to discover too, and maybe if we're lucky in the next episode, Daisy can try her hand at hunting down some of those elk that we saw would be a pretty surefire way of getting that stranger wolf's attention. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!